Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do the proper lip. To show you as an example how to choose the proper lip color. Number one, if you are, have a warm disposition of skin tone, you will have various things you can check this on. Number one, your veins. Here, if your veins here are slightly green, then you are a warm color. If your veins here are blue, then you are a cool color. Another way to check whether the lipstick suits you best is, I'll show this on an example, is on the inside of your lip. Okay, for example, here I have a cool, a cool pink. Okay, now if you go here, okay, and you check it against the inside of the lip, you will see it will not fit at all, not to my skin tone. Okay, so this is not a good color for me. I have a warm disposition, I have green, so I need warmer tones, not cooler tones. This color, on the other hand, does. Okay, that comes closest to my lip color, my natural lip color, as you can also see on the outside, but sometimes the outside can look a bit different. Right, so that is how you choose the proper lip color. The same goes for for red tones or any other lipstick color. Once you've found out what whether you're a warm disposition or a cool disposition, then you can choose your colors best. Okay, but always hold it up to your lip or even try it on your lip, but never don't try it on the back of your hand because that's completely different skin and skin depth. So it'll never look right. So now to the lip itself. First you have to moisturize and prime the lip. Okay, I do that with the uh, Aloe Forever Alluring Eyes because that also plumps up the lip at the same time. Just take a tiny bit. Okay, that's probably that's even a bit too much. And you place it on and around the lip like that. Okay, just like that. Uh, especially important if you're over 40 because that will smooth out the fine lines around the lip as well. Next thing I will use to prime the lip is the concealer wheel. Now the concealer wheel looks like this okay, and it has various colors in it and I will be using as a base I will be using the darker one like this but if you want to have a very white background so that you've got generally um, the trueness of the color of the lipstick that you're placing on, then you use the lilac. Okay, so I'll be using as a primer the darker beige. Okay, just like that. And that will help the lipstick to stay better. Then you don't need to mess about later on with um, tissues and things like that. Okay, so that's applied. The next step is to get a lipstick pencil that suits, again, the color of your natural lip. Don't go too dark and nor too light. Best to match it exactly if you can. If not, then maybe a shade darker but not two or three shades, otherwise it looks as if you really painted your lips completely unnatural. That is okay if you're doing a lipstick like for a goth look or or if you're going out somewhere in the evening and want a radical look if you like, but not if you're doing a normal natural look just so that the lips look well plumped and natural. And you start off by painting in the little V and the smile at the bottom. Okay, like that. As you see, as I'm using my little finger on my chin to steady the hand, if you're not used to doing it, you can either do it that way or you do it in little bits. Okay, just like this. Okay. 
and don't forget to go into the corners okay some people ask me well if you want your lip to make it look a bit bigger can you go outside of the lip yes you can but only marginally just a tiny bit okay I'm just going to round this off a bit and then you paint in the lip in the lip in the lip pencil color Once again, don't forget to go into the corners, otherwise you get white bits here and it looks really strange when you're talking and you've got white bits hanging off. Okay, so this will also make the lipstick last a lot longer on your lips, so that when you're eating or drinking or in the office and things, that you don't have to apply the lipstick that often. So, now the next step is to take your lip brush that's this very thin brush here you take the lipstick and you take off some of the lipstick like that and start applying it you see my lip pencil color matches the lipstick very well and also my natural tone of skin well, ha the good thing with that is that my teeth will also look whiter they won't have a yellow shine to them okay that's the first coverage okay now to make that even stick better what you can do is just take some of the translucent powder that I've used before dab it on and then apply the second round of lipstick over that okay, another thing to choice of lipsticks if you're over 40 you should go for a matte lipstick not a shiny one if you're younger then you can use uh, any kind of shiny lipsticks it doesn't matter but as soon as you get older it will look really strange but what you can do and that's what I often do to give it a tiny shine but not to give the full wet lip lo lip gloss look is I use the aloe lips and so that there's not too much applied I take my finger go over the lips like that add some at the bottom like that and that will give it a shine but without it being over the top the next trick to get your lips to look fuller is to take some of the white eyeshadow and just dab some at the bottom of your lip like that now to finish off you can draw the lines a little stronger there you go there you have the perfect lip and if you think you want to make your lip look even fuller let's say at the top then, oh, where did I put it? Then you take the white clarifier, that's this pencil, and you just fill in the V shape. and the outside
like so. And dab it to blend in. If you're dabbing it, don't go from the lipstick downwards because that will make the lipstick bleed. You go upwards to blend in. Like so, and then last dab powder all over. You can do it with your finger or with the brush. And there you have it, a perfect lip.